Hello guys. Hello. This is Carl and Steve from mm -hmm. Max Power. Or maximum power. Um, and today we're showing how to make the nuclear reactor, isn't it Steven? It is. This is our second episode of Tech It Creations. And fitting in with the max power, maximum power theme, we're going to make the best nuke reactor you can make in Tech It. Yep. Um, I'll be showing the stats in a few moments time and in a few moments after that Steve will be showing how to build this awesome machine. Yes, the basic idea of it is ice comes out of the power flower, goes into the reactor which has a shit ton of uranium cells in it, so it will output loads of power and when it overheats this thermometer thin will turn it off. So it shouldn't explode, hopefully. Yep. And go Notice the hopefully there. <laughs> goes on the MFSU. Yes. So it it was it was strange making this video, wasn't it, Steve, of it being back to front. It was because we had to film building it first, even though that's the end of the video. Yep. So we had to remember not to do an intro. Yep. So um We'll go on to the stats now. Yes, so see you guys in a minute. So guys, these are the stats. It would take 247 seconds to fill an MFSU, which means it's creating 40,486 AU per second, which is 2,024 AU per tick. When the reactor is turned on, there's no way of making the MFSU go down. So if no ice is fed in to cool it down, the new reactor would explode in under 10 seconds and it would create a 256 block explosion. So overall it would create 3.5 billion EU per day which is the equivalent of 2024 solar panels running at the same time. It's probably enough to block out the sun. So guys you might be wondering how do I build this? Well I'm gonna show you now. The first step is to put down a nuclear reactor as normal. So that is your nuclear reactor in the center, surrounded by reactor chambers. Just like this. And now this is a very important bit. You put on the front a lever and you toggle it down so it's given off a signal. This will stop it blowing up while you're fixing it. Make sure you do this step. Right, the next thing you need to do is put down, what's it called, a thermal monitor. I leave mine on 500, you can probably change it if you want, but I find that's fine for me. And coming off of this, you will need to put down, wait till I find the block, red alloy wire, just like this. And this means when it overheats, it will turn itself off. Now, as well as that, because that isn't enough, a bit to the side, you want to build yourself a power flower. So I'm just going to put down the basis of one here. Probably doesn't need to be completely fully upgraded because we're just going to put inside some ice. want it to make lots and lots and lots of blocks of ice and it will do that no problem even with a not fully upgraded one. You then need to get yourself, I like to use a filter just so I know it's not taking anything dodgy out, but you could also use a transposer if you want to, and pneumatic tube in. Put down your filter, that is the wrong way, I will fix that in a moment. And you want to feed this in to the reactor. Now you can change the way your filter is facing with a screwdriver. So I'm just going to right click on this until it ends up the right way. And finally, well not finally, but the next step, sorry, is I've dropped my stone on the floor. You want to build a little platform too wide. And on top of this you need one red alloy wire and one timer. So I'll just find the two of those. There's the red alloy wire. And here is the timer. So you can link this up to your filter and it will start to take the ice in. I'm going to cut that off for now because before you want this to fill up with ice, if you look inside now, these sections I've put ice in are where you want ice 
you want to fill every other section with a uranium cell. So you can see I'm spawning in a whole ton of them and dumping them in right now. You want to fill every section. A normal reactor would only use, say, six uranium cells, but that's not how we roll at max power. We put in 47 <laughs> uranium cells. Isn't that right, Carl? Yep. So, it's so all explosive power. Amazing. So it's filling this up. Every single bit. Almost done now. Two, three. There we go. Now we can re-put this with the red ollie wire. And I'm going to lower the speed of it all the way down to every 0.2 seconds so it really quickly fills up with ice. And the ice will help to cool it down. Now the final step here, we need an MFSU, which I'll grab now. We need a high voltage transformer and 4x4 four four insulated high voltage cable. We take the heavy voltage cable, whatever you want to call it. Next, we put down the um, tr the transformer, the HV transformer. After that, we need to put down a glass fiber, which I forgot to get. So I'll grab one now. Put down a glass fiber. And then we put down our MFSU. Now, when we turn this on, it will start to fill very quickly. But if you right click on your MFSU, and notice in the top right the little redstone symbol. Clicking this will change it to emit a signal when it is filled up. You can then link this in with your off switch, which means your reactor won't use up its uranium while it's got nowhere to store the electricity. And then you can just tap out your energy from wherever you need to. So the moment of truth, flick the lever again to turn it on. Your uranium will start to work, and if you look in the MFSU, it is powering up very quick. And that, my friends, is how you make the super nuke reactor.